WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's off 79 points, a quarter of a percent. Russell's down 10 points, about six tenths of a percent. And the New York Stock Exchange is off 75 points. That's a half percent. The other U.S. indices trading the upside. The S&P's up nine. NASDAQ 100 is a leader. Uh, no, the semis are a leader, one and three tenths of a percent. And the NASDAQ not that far behind. One percent move, 142 points. Trannies up a half a percent. That's about a 55 point move there. Gold is up off six bucks. Silver's up 12. I'm sorry, silver's up a penny. Natural gas is up uh, six pennies. And a uh, light speed crude is up 51 cents. 30 year Treasury down about a half a point, printing out, printed out at 109.15. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. What do you know? We know that today will complete a TD9, will confirm a TD9 count bottom. That's as long as price closes below. This bar right here, the bar from October 23rd, and that close was at 42.4175. Spot volatilics is still below yesterday's low out there. That is a bullish indication for the S&P 500. So maybe it's telling us we're getting ready to rally for a bit. The NQ is also going to complete or confirm a TD9 count bottom today. That is as long as price closes at the end of the day below 14712. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, still consolidating with inside that daily profile. Finding resistance at the top of the profile, that's at 106.42. Of course, it's all being driven by what's going on inside the euro, the yen, and the pound. If we take a look at the Goldilocks, also consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's in the sell zone. That sell zone is between 1983 and 1996. If price can close above 1996.40, price should make a run for 2009-20. Silver consolidating with inside its profile, support at 22.53, resistance up at 23.44. Light sweet crude doing the same. We've got a lot of consolidation with inside profiles, no breakouts, no breakdowns, so to speak. Um, th those that are breaking down, such as the ESNQ, have got the bottoming signals. In the case of Light Sweet Crude, it's trading range between, between 81.43 and 91 and a quarter. If we take a look at natural gas, a uh, nice move out here. What we're going to have to do during the Trader's Ed show is go take a look at where the TD9 count breakdown resistance is. That is likely its price target. We take a look at the 30 year Treasury. It does have a road momentum indicator bottom pattern out there. Price is above the top or the center of its bullish structure daily profile, but resistance is certainly going to be that descending trend line. Today, that number would be at about 111.04. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fantastic one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.